Hey everybody, today I'm visiting the Azores and I have to say it truly is a natural paradise. The Azores are home to about 250,000 people and are known for their blue-green colored lakes, volcanic craters, colorful hydranas, 15th century churches, and majestic manor houses. There are tons of things to see and I totally recommend coming here. I would also recommend renting a car so you can explore one of the islands of the Azores, Sao Miguel. This place is right next to the bay like you see here full of boats. It's right next to where our ship parked and it was easy to get to. Here are some places that my family and I visited. Before re renting a car, I recommend to take a selfie with the statue of Goncalo Velho Cabral. He was a Portuguese monk and explorer known for discovering the Farmigas and rediscovering the islands of Santa Maria and San Miguel in the Azores. After taking a quick walk around Ponta Delgada, we went and got our car to explore the island. Pato Delgada is a city in San Miguel. We rented a car from here and drove to many different sites. If you're planning a trip to Sao Miguel Island, you simply cannot miss visiting Sete Siedes. This place is world famous for its iconic twin lake and extreme beauty, which was created by volcanic activity thousands of years ago. There are so many stops around the lake as you drive around it, and you will be able to see it from different views. After seeing Sao Miguel's Santa Ciades, head over to Morado de Vesto do Rey, which is a 30 or so minute drive from Ponto Delgada. Once you arrive, you will see a bunch of different parking spots leading up to the viewpoint area on the left hand side of the road. There's also a bit larger parking area right next to the viewpoint as well. At the viewpoint, you will see two multicolored lakes of Loga de Verde and Loga Azul, which was an incredible sight to take in and enjoy for the, your first glimpse of the Cite Ciedres area. After that, it's time for the view you've been all waiting for, the one and only Moradero de Boco do Inferno. As you walk along the trail to the end of the viewpoint, you will see a Loga Azul out in the distance along with some additional craters and lakes of Cite Siedes. These include Loga di Sanatio and Loga Raza. Take as much time as you would like to take in the view and enjoy one of the best spots of the island. After you finish up at Boca di Inferno, you have a decision to make. Either head off for a hike or drive down to the town of Sete Ciudades. Visiting at the Azores again was so fun and I loved it. This is my second time coming here and I would totally come here for a third if I had the choice. I had so much fun here and I hope that this video really helped you guys out. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below about your thoughts on my video. And I want to give out a shout out to all my besties who are watching my um, videos. Becca, Hannah, Montana, and Jacob. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos. Thanks so much, guys. And also, um, check out my video that is about to come out soon about my next sea day, the day right after this. Thanks, guys. Right there, jump again. Right there, jump again. Oh my God. I barely got it. Wait a sec. Wait.